Hello everyone. We've all got buckets of scraps laying around, so here is a great way to use them up. These flower bouquets are made with a 12 weight thread on a serger, and they're so fast and simple to whip up, you can easily make them into gift toppers, kids toys, or fun little decorations. Before beginning, you will need 6 to 12 scraps of fabric, depending on how big of a bouquet you want to make all trimmed to a length of about 8 inches by 5 inches. These scraps of fabric will be the stems of your roses, so I'll choose green fabric for mine. Fold and press one long edge of a scrap over about a half an inch. Do this for each of your scrap pieces. Apart from your serger, the only thing you'll need is some 12 weight thread. I'm choosing these two 12 weight threads called Accent and Glamour. Accent is a 100% rayon that carries a glossy luster that looks amazing as lace and is also really soft and flexible to the touch. Glamour is a rayon with a strand of metallic that adds a touch of sparkle to your roses. You'll want to use the heavier 12 weight thread because it will fill in the gaps better than a thinner thread will. To begin, Set up your serger for a 3 thread wide overlock stitch and thread your serger. Every serger is different so make sure you check your machine's instruction guide on how to thread it properly. In this instance, I'll be using one cone of glamour in the lower looper and two cones of accent in both of the upper loopers. We're going to use our left needle. Make your cutting width as wide as possible. Take one of your scrap fabric pieces and position the folded edge along the stitching line. Begin sewing along the edge until you reach the end. You can keep sewing to add a little tail, then place your next fabric piece and continue serging that one too. Do this until all your fabric pieces have had their first row of serging on them. Cut to separate your scraps from each other. When you're ready to begin the second row, locate the mark of your right needle position. You can use this mark as a guide to position the edge of the fabric. Stitch again down each edge following this mark until all the fabric pieces have their second row of serging. Do this again a third time so each piece has three rows of serging. Sew carefully. As if you sew off your path and miss the previous row of stitching, you'll end up with a hole in your flower. Now for the fourth row of stitching, I'm going to shorten my stitch length from three to two and do two more rows of stitching. After that, I'm going to once again decrease the stitch length from 2 to 1 and do two more rows of stitching until the edge gets a rippled look. Trim the serge edges of your pieces so there aren't any stray threads coming off. Now, tightly roll the fabric from one end to the other. You'll see your flower slowly coming together. Fold the fabric in half on itself again and hold it tight with some wonder clips or pins. In your sewing machine, load the top and bottom thread with a regular sewing thread. I will be using Deco Bob a very fine 80 weight cottonized polyester that will blend into the fabric so it won't show up as much. Sew a line of stitching through the center of the stem. Don't forget to back tack at the beginning and end of your stitches. All together, you've created a beautiful bouquet. Let us know in the comment section below if you made this project. 
or let us know what type of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video or hit subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.